While it's easy to run control charts and things like that on existing data, sometimes you need to maintain uh, a dashboard of metrics. And that's why we created the control chart dashboards. So again, under the control charts, you'll see control chart dashboards. And there's a dashboard that'll allow you to do attribute charts like the CNP, PNU chart, the XMR chart for an individual set of data, and an XBAR R chart for people in manufacturing. Uh, so most likely you're going to choose the XMR dashboard and when you do it will open up uh, to the instruction sheet which gives you all kinds of instructions and then to the data sheet which is where you can start to put in your data. So you can put in at least 30 chart titles here and the chart title will carry over to your chart, set an upper spec and a lower spec and then just put in some data. And there's some buttons here so when we add more data this will refresh the charts and the other one will refresh the charts and run stability analysis. Now down here at the bottom you'll notice there's some other things down here so we can choose the XMR if we want to have an average and range chart and it'll go out and do a little recalculating here. Uh, the rolling chart so this will allow you to have a rolling so many days of, of data, a median chart or a run chart. But we're just going to use the XMR average chart. And you'll notice here that there's some buttons, a next button and a previous button. So we could click on next and it'll go over to our next chart title and bring up our data or we can go back one. And we can also go down and there's a create dashboard button down here. So once we've got all of our data points in here, and I'm only going to run it with two because that's plenty. Uh, if you click on the create dashboard button, the dashboard will go out and start to process and create a single sheet that has X charts on it. So that'll create our X dashboard. And it'll go through all of the charts to do this. So you can do at least 30 and you can go all the way up to 120 but you have to do a little tweaking to make that happen. And we describe how to do that on our web page. But I often find if you have too many data points or too many uh, charts uh, you, you don't really know anything. So here it's created our dashboard with chart 1 and chart 2. If I go back to the data sheet and I add some new data, so if we go up to 87 and 89 for example, I could say I want to refresh the charts and it'll go out and add that new data point onto our charts. When you save the control chart dashboard, you must save it as a macro enabled workbook. Now Excel will normally try and save it as an XLS and if you say that, it will tell you that, oh, there's, Matt, you can't save this stuff from VBA. So you need to click no and choose VLSM as the way to save this particular workbook. And that will enable you to use the tools in here to keep this dashboard up to date. And so you can keep all of your data up to date very quickly using the QI Macros control chart dashboard. And it's very simple and straightforward, and you can expand it as needed.